Some things never change. Bro, young face here, I'll be to you, right? I got a boss with y'all bitch ass BMG nigga. Y'all niggas suck my dick. Y'all niggas ain't about nothing. Y'all right, niggas just bum, dirty, stink, filthy ass niggas, you heard? I ain't know with the brush, you getting cut, you heard? Be loud, you need to get smacked. You the tile out of fucking your mama. I'm the reason you dripped the designer. RPT face. Also known as Anthony Givens is a long-standing member of the YG's gang in the Bronx. This gang has reigned terror across the Bronx and New York City as a whole. Most recently, its members have been involved in numerous homicides and firearms-related crimes in the Bronx in late 2021. It has helped bring the Bronx to levels of violence not seen since the early 1990s. We at Rocky have obtained public documents filed in federal court that give us a rare insight into the life of RPT face. His public defender wrote, Anthony Givens was raised in the notorious River Park Towers in the Bronx. The neighborhood was marked by gangs, drugs, and violence. His father, who verbally and physically abused Mr. Givens' mother, left the family when Mr. Givens was in high school. He hasn't had any contact with his father since 2003. His mother raised him and his siblings on her income as a daycare provider, his father neglected his court-ordered support obligations. His mother describes Mr. Givens as the rock of our family. She says that, of her six children, he is the one that makes sure everyone is okay and taken care of. As a teenager Mr. Givens displayed no small amount of basketball talent and had dreams of playing college basketball. He even managed to leave his Bronx neighborhood to attend basketball powerhouse Bishop Laughlin Memorial High School in Brooklyn for several years. These were in many ways the best years of his life. But when he could no longer afford to attend Bishop Laughlin he ended up back in high school in his old Bronx neighborhood. It was then, his mother says, that, life changed for Anthony. He lost focus, drifted, and had a lot of anger about his father. As early as 2010, RPT, Face, was a self-proclaimed member of the River Park Towers, YGs. He was a very active member, and assaulted individuals, including security guards at the RPT complex. Federal court papers allege, on or about May 28, 2014, RPT YG's members assaulted several security guards as part of the gang's efforts to preserve the RPT YG's ability to carry out gang-related activities, including drug dealing in the RPT complex. Anthony Givens, aka RPT, face, taunted a security guard, challenged him to a fight, and punched him. A battle ensued between RPT security guards and the RPT YG's. We at Rocky call this the Battle of RPT. Court papers show that during this battle, another YG's member, Tyrone Felder, brandished a firearm. It is clear how this type of behavior has influenced new RPT. YG's members, including D. Thang G's, who is a current associate of RPT, face. Get it on. Get it on. Get it on. They don't want to get it on. They don't want to get it on. On November 30, 2013, RPT, Face sold two bags of marijuana to an undercover officer in the River Park Towers complex. His associates also sold crack cocaine to undercover officers. As a result of this, he, and other members of the RPTYGZ were indicted or arrested by federal officials. In 2015, RPT, Face, pled guilty to federal charges and was sentenced to 300 days in jail. In 2016, RPT Face pled guilty to beating his girlfriend and punching her in the face repeatedly with a closed fist. Also in 2016, RPT Face was involved in an incident where he assaulted another individual to the point of hospitalization. After police arrived, he fought with the arresting officer, causing him to tear a muscle. After this, RPT Face was allegedly involved in yet another violent incident in which, he appeared to punch and throw to the ground a woman wearing a black jacket. After all of these violent incidents, Anthony Givens, also known as RPT Face, began a fraud conspiracy, in which he started stealing people's bank checks. Court records reveal that NYPD Detective Alessandrio stated the following about RPT Face. I am a detective with the New York City Police Department, during which tenure I have participated in dozens of investigations into criminal offenses involving bank fraud, and am familiar with some of the means and methods used to commit such offenses. Based on my review of bank records, I have learned that on or about November 5, 2018, surveillance footage captured a man, later identified as Anthony Givens, the defendant, depositing a check for $9,800 
Check 1 at an automated teller machine, ATM, at a branch of a national bank, Bank 1, in the Bronx, New York. Givens deposited Check 1 into the bank account of third party, Account 1. Check 1 was stolen. I spoke with the person from whose account the check was drawn, and he or she confirmed that he or she did not issue a check to Account 1, nor issue a check for that particular amount. I later identified the man captured depositing Check 1 on November 5, 2018 and withdrawing funds from Account 1 on November 15, 2018 in the surveillance footage as Givens, by comparing the video capture with the photos of Givens from law enforcement arrest records. Based on my review of Bank One records and conversations with representatives at Bank One, I have learned that the defendant, Anthony Givens, has deposited approximately five other checks into third-party accounts at Bank One totaling approximately $44,753.28. These checks were stolen. I spoke with the people from whose accounts the checks were drawn and they did not issue checks to these accounts. RPT Face was arrested and charged once again by federal authorities. In 2019 he plead guilty. The prosecutor stated, this most recent offense by the defendant shows a continued disrespect for the rule of law. As defense counsel said, the record here speaks for itself. None of the prior sentences that Mr. Givens has had have clearly deterred him from continuing to break the law. Givens was sentenced to 18 months in prison. After the pandemic hit, RPT Face attempted to seek compassionate release from prison, stating that he was obese. It was initially denied. His public defender wrote, Mr. Givens himself makes no excuses and is remorseful for his actions. He has already suffered serious punishment for his wrongs. In late May his first child was born and Mr. Givens could not be present to witness that momentous event. This has greatly shaken him and he believes he has finally learned his lesson. When he is released he hopes to prove that his criminal conduct is behind him for good. Can't sleep cause I know that he breathing Picks on my body, get low on the digging Spinning the bridge, we did it repeated Get back this time and get even Big celebration, we see how I bleed it Of course this was probably a complete lie After being released, RPT Face rebranded himself as Face Mob But continued associating with members of the RPT YGs, including d -thang gs And releasing songs threatening individuals And mocking the deaths of others It seems that at least 12 years of gang life And probably more RPT Face, now a fully grown man, wants to do nothing but continue perpetuating violence. Instead of being a mentor, he is now only raising a new generation of gang members. He is known as the sleazebag of the YGs. Hopefully, one day, if he can, he will be able to prove all of us wrong.